Hi everybody, this is Muvit. Uh, in this screencast, we will answer a frequently asked questions from our users. What is the database and how do we know the name of the database? That's a good question really. And it's really simple to answer it. Let's clarify the, the topic once again. What is the database? Uh, this is a necessary element for working with your data. Now we go to your hosting. Uh, in my case, this is SpaceWeb. We enter the administration panel. Uh, enter the login, the password. Enter. Here we are. This is our hosting. This is the administration panel of the hosting. What do we need? The domain. I will work with this domain on the cloud.room. I will use it as an example to show you how to create a website really quickly uh, using Adobe Muse. And this domain itself uh, if we click it, we can see it's empty, we have nothing in. Let's create the database. We enter the MySQL section. Well, there is some database here for one of my sites. I have 11 tables in it. What do we do? We create the new database for our domain. Create the database. Uh, for most of the hosts, it's uh, quite similar, so we just enter the name. For example, only the password. Uh, let it be something like that. And we click Create. Okay, done. The database is created. What do we see here? The login. And we should remember the password. What do we do next? Uh, here you have the PHP My Admin section. We enter the password which we have just created. And we enter the PHP My Admin section. Here is our database. Uh, we click it, we can see it's empty, nothing in, no tables in. Okay, just remember you will work in PHP My Admin section. You will create uh, the tables, the styles, etc. You can always export it. So if you have already created the beautiful website with Adobe Views and Vivid and uh, you want to use the same style, not to do it again, uh, you can always just copy it and export it to the new database and use it with a new website and new domain. Okay, we have a database. What do we do next? We go to our website, onlyclub.ru in my case. And we should drag and drop here the setup file. Uh, here is where we get it. We download the setup file, the Muvit setup file. We unzip it and we put the file to the project folder. Here is the setup file, setup.php. Using our FTP client, I use the dotl commander, you can use whatever you like. Uh, I enter the FTP. Here is the only club folder. In the public HTML folder, uh, I, I should drag and drop uh, to this folder the setup file. Okay, done. Now we refresh the page. Uh, nothing has changed. We um, type a slash and type setup 
.php and we can see this message. The domain is not in the base. Please uh, add it in your profile. Okay, now we enter our profile. And here in the administration panel, we go to testing section. We enter our domain address. Here it is. No www no slash and click the test button. Okay, the domain is in the system. We refresh the page. And now we can see the new form. What should we enter to this form? The base address. How do we find it? Uh, you can find this information on your hosting, but um, most often is just localhost. In our case, it is localhost. We go back, enter the name, localhost, the address. Uh, what is the hosting user? What should we type in here? Most often, uh, it's just the name of the base. So we copy the name of the base and enter it here. Okay, the base password. Uh, this is the password we have just entered when we created the database. Okay, done. Uh, the name of the database. Here it is. We have just entered it. Uh, as far as I understand, on TimeWeb uh, and many other hosters, the, they have the same name for the database and for the hosting user. Okay, now we should enter the name and the password we're going to use and click Setup. Done. The system is installed. Wonderful. We enter the login and password we have just chosen and push Enter. Done. So the system is installed to the hosting. We go back to PHP My Admin, refresh it. What do we see? Well, we see the databases and nothing in them. Uh, let's uh, download something. Let's install something. Okay. What do we see here? Let's enter the plugins. Okay, let's download the plugins. I need the a news generator, the pages, the lightbox gallery, the accordion. And I would like to enter the pages generator. Okay. Close it and go back to PHP my admin. Refresh it. What do we see in here? Here it is. We have the tables. Uh, this is the data. Your data will be stored right here. So your, the Mubit system will store your data right here. If you want to copy something, to reuse it, to use it for another website, uh, you should just highlight it, export it, like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it is. And this file can be stored in the project folder. And now, for example, you create a new website and new database and you always can use this data via PHP MyAdmin and you just optimize your work. You don't need to re-enter this data again. So you can just copy the data you need and export it and use it for another website, for another domain. Okay, so we have finished our work with databases. Thank you for your attention and 
develop with us. See you again, right?